Doctors say the pandemic isn't over yet. Congress hasn't passed a new COVID spending bill, though, but the national public health emergency does remain in place through July. Either way, health advocates say that now is the time for lawmakers to strengthen systems and programs that have come out of the pandemic regardless of whether this emergency is renewed in the future. Dr. Julie Morita is the executive vice president of the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation. They're the largest foundation in the U.S. that focuses solely on health. She says that people have benefited from things like access to vaccines and continuing Medicaid coverage. They want to prevent seeing a dramatic loss in support, especially as an estimated 23 million Americans deal with the long-term impacts of having COVID-19. A lot of research needs to be done to understand what that means, what treatments are available, what the natural course of the disease is itself, and that's going to take some time to do. And so that's, that's another reason we need to really strengthen the systems that we have in place right now so that kind of research is supported and also so that to ensure that those people who are suffering from long COVID can actually access the services they need. If you do need access to health care, but you can't afford it, you do have some options. A good place to start is to check with your local health department or community health center. We're also getting a better idea of just how many people have had COVID-19. A new CDC report shows a substantial increase of antibodies from COVID-19 infections across all age groups, but especially with kids. You see that in that top line right there. They estimate that three in four kids younger than 17 have those antibodies right now. While doctors say they don't know how long that antibody protection will last, they say this is the first time that they've seen antibody levels from infection top 50 percent. What we do know is that vaccination is a safe and effective way to get robust immune protection for a specific amount of time. Should cases continue to climb, the Biden administration says there are plenty of antiviral Paxlovid. Those are those pills that are in production.